What is up, radio fans? Big Al here on this Thursday, June 17th, 2021. And today we are continuing our series on the AM and FM radio stations from across the country. And today we are headed down to the Magic Kingdom as our focus will be on Orlando, Florida. Now, as I said in my preview video last night, this this list also includes stations from nearby Daytona Beach and the Space Coast, most prominently Melbourne, Florida. But the Space Coast, that's the area known as Melbourne, Titusville, Coco, that general area in Central Florida. I see her and know it's the Space Coast. But anyway, Orlando is the home of Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Florida. It's only about a 90-minute drive, traffic permitting, from downtown Tampa. And it's probably about a three- or four-hour drive to Miami on down I-95. Yeah, this this is a pretty comprehensive market. It, I even have some stations on here from Ocala, Florida, which is up by Gainesville. So those will be in that list as well. All right. So like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell every time I go live. All right. That said, let's jump into the AM and FM radio stations across the Orlando metro area, as well as Daytona Beach and the Space Coast. And we're kicking things off on the AM side of the dial with 540 WFLF Pine Hills. They're known as News Radio Orlando WFLA. This station airs a news talk format with hourly news updates from Fox News Radio and programming from the Premier Radio Networks. Notable programs heard on WFLF include Good Morning Orlando, which is the morning drive news, local news program, which is hosted by Bud Hedinger, a former anchor at ABC Station WFTV Channel 9 and CW Station WKCF Channel 18. As for syndicated programs, Heard on WFLF. Those include Glenn, B Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Dave Ramsey, Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis, Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie, which airs during the overnight hours, seven nights a week. And This Morning, America's First News with Gordon Deal. WFLF First signed on the air on September 9, 1955 as WGTO and was later known as WWZN and WQTM. The Federal Communications Commission classifies WFLF as a Class B station, broaccasting with a daytime effective radiated power of 50,000 watts and a nighttime effective radiated power of 46,000 watts. So even though they decrease power a little bit at night, this is still a pretty powerful signal. WFLF studios are located in Maitland, Florida with their transmitter tower off of Tower Pines Drive in another Orlando suburb, Winter Haven, Florida. WFLF is owned by iHeartMedia and licensed to IHM Licenses, LLC. WFLF's programming is simulcast on sister station WMGF 107.7 HD3 in Mount Dora, Florida. And also operates on three FM translator stations. W226BT 93.1, W231CT 94.1, and W273CA 102.5, all licensed to Orlando, and all relays WFLF's programming. Now, this is the brand extension 
of the co-owned news talker in Tampa Bay, WFLA. 580, this is the oldest running radio station in Central Florida, and that's WDBO Orlando. The call sign stands for Way Down by Orlando. That's where they got the WDBO from. Anyway, they're known as WDBO 1073 and 580. Orlando's News and Talk. Much like their competitors down the dial at WFLF, WDBO also has a news talk format. This station has hourly news updates from both ABC News and Fox News Radio. Plus programming from Westwood One, the Premier Radio Networks, and the Compass Media Networks. Notable programs heard on 107.3 and 580 WDBO include Sean Hannity, Brian Kilmeade, Dana Loesch, Clark Howard, Chad Benson, yeah, Chad Benson, and Markley, Van Kemp, and Robbins. The station also airs long-form local newscasts, including Orlando's Morning News, which airs weekday mornings from 5 till 9 a.m. Plus, they also have hour-long news blocks at noon and 6 p.m. WDBO, as I said, is Orlando's oldest radio station, signing on the air on May 24, 1924, originally on 1250 AM. The station then moved to 1040 AM in 1927, 620 AM in 1928, and 1120 AM 1929 before moving to the present day 580 in 1933 and would stay there until 2011. That is when the news talk format, which had been on 580 AM, migrated to 96.5 FM and that, that format was replaced with a sports talk format on the 580 frequency and that served as the ESPN radio station in Orlando. On June 24, 2020, WDBO's owner, the Cox Media Group, announced that they would be moving the news talk format from 96.5 FM back to its original home on 580. And then five days later, Cox unveiled a Spanish language format on the 96.5 frequency. So with the news talk format moving back to 580, the sports format that had been on 580 was discontinued, but it was put on a sister on a digital subchannel, on an HD digital subchannel of another sister station in the Cox. Media Group stable in Orlando. More on that later. Um, WDBO has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting full time at 50,000 watts from studios located on North John Young Parkway in Orlando. Their transmitter is on West Kennedy Boulevard in the Orlando suburb of Maitland, Florida. WDBO is owned by the Cox Media Group and licensed to Cox Radio LLC. Programming is simulcast on WOEX 96.5 HD2 and relayed over translator station W297BB on 107.3 FM, both of which are licensed to Orlando. And as I said before, this is Orlando's oldest radio station. And another quick note, WDBO was also the original call sign of the area's CBS television station on Channel 6, known today as WKMG. 640 is WVLG, Wildwood, Florida. 
this broadcast to the villages, which is located north of Orlando, is more so closer to Ocala than Orlando. They're known as AM640 Timeless Hits, the voice of the villages. This station plays oldies and easy listening music with news updates on the hour from Fox News Radio. WVLG signed on as WHOF in 1986 and later was known as WMZY and again as WHOF before becoming WVLG. This station has a Class B license with the FCC broadcasting at an effective radiated power of 930 watts during the day and 860 watts at night. Station is owned by and licensed to Village Communications. And their programming is repeated on two FM translators. W274BR at 102.7 FM in the Villages covers the northern portion of the listening area for this station. And W283DK 104.5 FM Wildwood covers the southern portion of this station's listening area. Okay, 660 is WDYZ Altamonte Springs. This station is known as Florida Man Radio, 660 AM and 105.5 FM. Unfiltered, unafraid. That's their slogan. This station has a hot talk format. Notable programs that air on WDYZ include Bubba the Love Sponge, Scott Ledger, and The Shannon Burke Show. WDYZ signed on the air in 1986 as WGOR, an AM daytimer on 6.50 AM from Christmas, Florida. This is a small town in Orlando. And held the WGNZ, and held WGNZ rather as its first call sign under a construction permit. This station was also known as WORL. The station moved from 650 kilohertz to 660 kilohertz sometime in the 90s to cover the greater Orlando market and to broadcast 24 hours a day cuz when they were licensed to Christmas Florida and they were broadcasting on 650 they were only permitted to broadcast during daytime hours which meant they had to go off the air at sundown. Alright, uh, WDYZ has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at an assigned effective radiated power of 3,500 watts during the day and 1,000 watts at night. Studios are located in Maitland. Transmitter is on Charles Street in Longwood, Florida. WDYZ is owned by New York City-based JVC Media and licensed to JVC Media of Florida Incorporated. And this was also the former Radio Disney affiliate in Orlando. Alright, 740 is WYGM Orlando. 96.9 The Game, Orlando's Sports Leader. This obviously is a sports talk station and is the Orlando affiliate of Fox Sports Radio. WYGM is the flagship radio station of the Orlando Magic and the University of Central Florida Golden Knights. That's the UCF Knights. So you will hear Magic Basketball as well as Central Florida Golden Knights sports, primarily football and men's hoops on 96.9 The Game. Wikipedia also lists WYGM as the home of Orlando City SC. That's the local Major League Soccer team in Orlando. However, most of Orlando City SC's games are heard on sister station WTKS on 104.1. More on that station on the FM side of the dial. WYGM is also 
the Orlando affiliate of the reigning Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Notable programs heard on WYGM, and many of them are local. They include Open Mic, which is hosted by Mike the Bulldog Lanchi. He is a sports columnist for the Orlando Sentinel. The Beat of Sports, which is hosted by UCF Knights play-by-play voice Mark Daniels. The Bridge, which is hosted by both Daniels and Vianchi. And In the Zone with Brandon Kravitz. Of course, the one major nationally syndicated program that's heard on WYGM is The Herd with Colin Cowherd, which airs weekday afternoons live from noon till 3 on Fox Sports Radio and is also simulcast on FS1. All right, WYGM signed on the air on February 8th, 1947 as WORZ. This station was also known as WKIS, WWNZ, and WQTM. WYGM has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at a full-time effective radiated power of 50,000 watts from studios in Maitland, and transmitter on Tower Pine Drive in Winter Garden. WYGM is owned by iHeartMedia and licensed to IHM Licenses, LLC. WYGM's programming is simulcast on sister station WJRR 101.1 FM HD2 in Cocoa Beach and relayed on translator station W245CL 96.9 96.9 FM, licensed to Deltona, Florida, and the source of WYGM's brand. 790 is WLBE Leesburg. The news, 790 AM WLBE. As of April 7, 2021, WLBE plays oldies and timeless favorites. They have news updates from ABC News. This station signed on the air in 1947 as WEUS in Eustis, Florida. Eustis is spelled E-U-S-T-I-S. The station became WLBE and its city of license was switched to Leesburg in 1948. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at 5,000 watts during the day and 1,000 watts at night. Station is owned by George and Esperanza Arroyo and licensed to Q Broadcasting Corporation. 810 is WRSO Orla Vista, Acción 97.9, La Primera en Noticias. This is a Spanish language news talker, which first signed on the air as... WEUS in January of 2006 and then became WRSO in 2012. WRSO has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission and presently broadcasts with an effective radiated power daytime of 20,000 watts and nighttime of 400 watts. However, WRSO does have a construction permit with the Federal Communications Commission to downgrade from a Class B license to a Class D. And they also have a has a construction permit to lower its daytime ERP from 20,000 watts to 2,000 watts. And also to lower their nighttime ERP from 400 watts to just 21 watts. WRSO is owned by Star Over Orlando Incorporated and is presently operated by iHeartMedia and programming repeats on translator station W250CE 97.9 FM which is licensed to Kissimmee, Florida which is a resort city south of Orlando. 840 is WPGS, MEMS, Florida. 
Local 840, Central Florida's classic rock station. So judging by the brand, this is a classic rock station. They signed on the air on September 18, 1984 as WNUY and was also known as WGRU. The station originally held the WPGS call sign from 1986 to 2009. This, has a, this station has a Class D license with the FCC broadcasting at 1,000 watts during daytime hours only. So, by FCC rules, this station is required to go off the air at sunset. WPGS is owned by WPGS Incorporated. 920 is WDMC Melbourne. There is no brand or slogan for this station. They just air a religious format. First air date of the station is unknown and held the WMEL call sign through 2008. That is when they became WDMC. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at I just saw it. Here it is. 5,000 watts during the day and 1,000 watts at night. This station is owned by Divine Mercy Communications. That's where they got their call sign from. WDMC. 950 is WORL Orlando. AM 950 and FM 94.9. The answer. News, opinion, passion. This is a conservative talk station. With news updates from Town Hall News and TownHall.com. This is like... One of their news departments at Salem Communications. The station is also the Orlando affiliate of Tampa Bay Rays Baseball. So locally in Orlando, Rays Baseball plays on The Answer. Notable programming you'll hear on WORL The Answer include many names in the Salem Communications stable, including Hugh Hewitt, Mike Gallagher, Dennis Prager, Jay Sekulow, Sebastian Gorka, Larry Elder, and Joe Walsh. And Chris Hart has a local afternoon drive program that airs weekdays on The Answer. All right, this station signed on the air on October 26, 1940, as the original WLOF, and they originally broadcast on 1200 AM. The station moved to 1230 in 1941, and to the present day 950 in 1949. The station also went by five other call signs including WOMX which is currently a high rated high rated hot AC station on the FM dial in the Orlando Magic WTLN that's the station we'll be talking about next and they were also known as WDYZ among the five previous call signs the station had all right WORL has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting with a daytime ERP of 12,000 watts and a nighttime ERP of 5,000 watts. Their transmitter is located on Ring Road in Orlando, and their studios are located on Lakeview Drive in Altamonte Springs. WORL is owned by the Salem Media Group, and licensed to Salem Communications Holding Corporation. Programming repeats on translator station W235CR in Orlando at 94.9 FM. So having been on the air since 1940, WORL is Orlando's second oldest radio station signing on the air about 16 years after WDBO did so back in 1924. Alright, on 990 and broadcasting in high definition is the aforementioned WTLN Orlando. AM 990 and FM 1015 The Word. This is a Christian talk and teaching station with hourly news updates 
Sports from SRN News. That's Salem Radio Network News. Notable programs heard on WTLN include David Jeremiah. He is the San Diego-based televangelist who hosts Turning Point. The station also broadcasts Chuck Swindoll, Jim Daly, John MacArthur, and In Touch with Dr. J Charles Stanley. All right. WTLN signed on the air on December 5th, 1947 as WHOO. This station held the WHOO call sign from its 1947 sign on all the way till 1985 and again from 1987 through 2001. Station also went by WMMA and WDYZ. WTLN has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at a assigned daytime frequency of 50,000 watts. Now, that's the maximum effective radiated power by FCC law for an AM station. Their nighttime power reduces to 14,000 watts. Studios are on Lakeview Drive in Altamonte Springs, and their transmitter is on Park Hamilton Boulevard in Pine Hills. WTLN is owned by the Salem Media Group and licensed to Salem Communications Holding Corporation, thus making it a sister station of WORL. That was the station we just finished talking about. Programming is repeated on translator station W268CT 101.5 FM Orlando. And this was also a former Radio Disney station in the Orlando market. 1030 is WONQ, Oviedo, Florida. Viva FAM, Donde Vive La Salsa. This station plays salsa music and has news updates from CNN and Espanol Radio. WONQ first aired on November 21st, 1992. They used WCAG as the call sign under their construction permit with the Federal Communications Commission, but signed on officially as WONQ on November 21, 1992. They have a Class B license with the FCC, operating at 45,000 watts effective radiated power days, 1,700 watts effective radiated power at nights. Stations owned by Florida Broadcasters and licensed to Q Broadcasting Corporation. Programming repeats on translator station W258DD 99.5 FM in Orlando. And this station also broadcasts Orlando Magic Basketball and Orlando City SC Soccer Games in Spanish. So, if you will, this is the Spanish broadcaster of both Orlando City SC and the Orlando Magic. 1060 is WIXC, Titusville. Sports and Espanol. That's their, that's their format. They really didn't have a brand or a slogan for this station. And this station broadcasts Tampa Bay Buccaneers football in Spanish. WIXC signed on the air in 1957 and used the call signs WRMF from 1965 to 1979 and WAMT from 1979 until 2001. Of course, WRMF is the current call sign of a very successful hot adult contemporary station in West Palm Beach. Alright, WIXC has a Class B license with the FCC, broadcasting with a daytime ERP of 50,000 watts. Which is reduced to 17,000 watts during critical hours. Again, that's two hours after local sunrise and two hours before sunset. The FCC gives these stations that have critical hours ERPs, the authority to re 
to broadcast at reduced power. And that's the case is who with WIXE. They also broadcast at 5,000 watts during nighttime hours. The studios in Mims, Florida, and an unknown location for the transmitter. I did not. Oh, yeah, I did write down the ownership of this station. They are owned by Genesis Communications. Okay. Let's make sure I got that. All right, 1080 is the present day. W-H-O-O, -O, Winter Park, Florida. This is Orlando's Spanish language affiliate of Relevant Radio. Broadcasting a Spanish Catholic talk format. This station signed on in 1965 as WFIV. They presently have a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at 6,000 watts during the daytime and only 55 watts at night. The studios and transmitter for WHOO are in undisclosed locations. WHOO is owned by Relevant Radio and licensed to Relevant Radio Incorporated. Of course, Relevant Radio, which used Relevant Radio, of course, used to be owned or used to be known as Immaculate Heart Radio. Oh, and WHOO is the former simulcast station. Of WHBO Pinellas Park, Florida. That's in the Tampa St. Pete market. And these two teams formed a simulcast as Sports Talk Florida. They aired national programming from both CBS Sports Radio and the now defunct NBC Sports Radio. 1140 is WURB Orlando, Urbana FAMA. This station plays a Spanish urban format, which first signed on as WONQ in 1985. Of course, WONQ now resides at 1030. WURB also went under the under the call signs WQ WONQ. That was from 1984 until 1992. Then they went by WRMQ from 1992 to 2018. They became WURF for a brief period in 2018 and 2019 before becoming what is now WURB. Okay, they have a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting in an effective radiated power of 5,000 watts during the day and only 8 watts at night. So they did get authorization from the FCC for nighttime operation, but at a dramatically low ERP. Because this used to be a day timer. Alright, studio, studio location and transmitter location are unknown. They are owned by Florida Broadcasters. And programming repeats on two FM translators. W278CN 103.5 FM Eatonville and W279DI 103.7 FM in Kissimmee, Florida. 1150 is WNDB Daytona Beach. FM 935 AM 1150 WNDB News Daytona Beach. This is a news talk station and they are listed as the host station of the Daytona 500 which is broadcast on the Motor Racing Network. Now, as you know, NASCAR's headquarters are located in Daytona Beach. MRN was headquartered there in Daytona before moving their operations to Charlotte in 2008, and now they're based out of the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina which is also where NASCAR's Hall of Fame is located. WNDB signed on the air in 1948. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting full-time at an effective radiated power of 1,000 watts. 
Studios, I'm assuming, are in Daytona Beach. The transmitter location is unknown. This station is owned by Southern Stone Communications, LLC. Programming repeats on translator W228CT 93.5 FM, also licensed to Daytona Beach. 1160 is WRLZ St. Cloud, Radio Luz, Once Sincinta, IMA, Del Corazon del Dios. This is a Spanish Christian station which signed on the air presumably in 2002. We're not sure when exactly this station signed on the air, on the air. but I'm going to presumably say 2002. Their roots may trace back a little bit further than that. They were known as WOYE and WTWA as well. WRLZ has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting with a daytime ERP of 2,500 watts and a nighttime ERP of 500 watts. They presently have a construction permit with the FCC to increase their daytime power to 14,000 watts. This station is owned by Iglesia El Calvaro de Orlando, Incorporated, and licensed to Radio Luz, Incorporated. 1190 is WAMT, licensed to both Pine Castle and Sky Lake, Florida. Now, this is the English version of Relevant Radio and Orlando's official English language Relevant Radio affiliate. Their slogan, of course, is Catholic Talk for Catholic Life. So... This is a religious Catholic talk station with programming, of course, from Relevant Radio. This station signed on the air in 1959. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, operating with a daytime power of 4,700 watts, nighttime power of 230 watts. They're owned by Relevant Radio, which previously went under the umbrella of Immaculate Heart Radio, and they are licensed to Relevant Radio Incorporated. Okay. Twelve thirty and fourteen ninety are the same station. WSBB New Smyrna Beach broadcasts on twelve thirty. WTJV Deland, Florida broadcasts on fourteen ninety. These two stations are known as AM twelve thirty and AM fourteen ninety, the Great Voice of Volusia County. So this station, so these two stations simulcast a talk format. They have hourly news updates from CBS News. This is the Daytona Beach affiliate of Florida Gators football, and the station also airs the Dave Ramsey Show weekday afternoons from 4 till 6 p.m. WSBB signed WSBB signed on the air on February 1st, 1952. WTJV signed on the air on September 10th, 1948, originally as WDLF. Uh, WTJV was also known as WJBS, WETO, WXVQ, and WNDA. Whereas 1250 as or 1230, rather, has always been WSBB. Both stations have Class C licenses with the Federal Communications Commission, and both stations operate with an effective radiated power of 1,000 watts. Studios are located at 229 Canal Street in New Smyrna Beach. Transmitter is on Indian River North, also in New Smyrna Beach. And for some strange reason, I did not write down the owner of... Wait, yeah, I did. I got them written at the top of the page because I ran down, ran out of space on the bottom. All right, WSBB is owned by Diego Communications, while WTJV is owned by J&V Communications Incorporated. Translator Station, W295ZN. 
Ormond Beach on 106.9 FM Relays WSBB's programming. Short space next to them on 1240. You've got a couple of stations. The first is a standalone, and that's WKIQ Eustis, Florida. La Gigante! Dulce Quanita! On a radio! Que bandis tu vida a través de la palabra! De Dios! De Dios! Let me try that again. That's Una Radio Que Bendes Tu Vida A Treves De La Palabra De Dios. There we go. Alright. This, this station is listed as Musica Cristiana or Spanish Christian Music. First, first air date of WKIQ is unknown. I wrote down 1995 with a question mark. Alright, they underwent four previous call signs, including WEUS among them. WKIQ has a Class C license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at an assigned effective radiated power of 790 watts unlimited. They are owned by Shanti Prasad and licensed to her umbrella, which is University or Uni Unity Broadcasting LLC. Huh, <laughs> easy for me to say. All right, the other station on 1240 forms a simulcast with 1350. All right, 1240 is WMMB Melbourne. 1350 is WMMV Coco. These two stations are branded as News Talk WMMV 1240 and 1350. The Space Coast Talks. This is a News Talk station, or rather a News Talk simulcast station, with news updates from Fox News Radio and programming from Premier Radio Networks. This is the Space Coast affiliate of Miami Dolphins Football. Notable programming heard on 1240 and 1350 include Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh. I said in my Columbus video that Rush Limbaugh passed away in April. He actually passed away in February. Um, other notable programs include Sean Hannity, Mark Levin, Dennis Miller, Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie, which airs overnights. And Kim Commando, this show airs primarily on weekends. Local broadcasting include Bill McLive. First air date for both stations is unknown. Alright, um, WMMB has a Class C license with the FCC. WMMV has a Class B license. Both stations operate full-time at 1,000 watts. Both are owned by iHeartMedia and licensed to IHM Licenses, LLC. Translator Station W224DJ at 92.7 FM Melbourne relays WMMB's programming. Next up on 1270 is WIWA Eatonville. The Shepherd. There's no slogan for this station. They're known just by their brand, The Shepherd, which is a Christian talk and teaching station which signed on as WHIY in 1957, and they underwent four different call signs, including WORL. WIWA has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at 25,000 watts during the day and 5,000 watts at night. They are owned by Mark Radio Orlando, LLC. 1300 is WKQK, Cocoa Beach. This broadcast to the Space Coast. Radio 1300, the great voice of Brevard County. This is a full-service adult contemporary station which signed on the air as WRKT on June 22, 1959. 
and they too underwent four different call signs, including WRKT, which they began with. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at 5,000 watts days, 1,000 watts nights. Studios and transmitter are located on Place Bomb Road in Cocoa, Florida. WKQK is owned by Will Stanley, Will Stanley and licensed to the 321 Corporation. Short spaced next to them on 1310 is WYND DeLand, Florida. Florida's Christian Voice. They broadcast a Christian radio format which signed on the air on December 7th, 1956. Its former call sign was WDLF. They have a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting with a daytime power of 10,400 watts. Their nighttime power decreases significantly to only 115 watts. Studios and transmitter for WYND are located on East Taylor Road in DeLand. Stations owned by Clarence and Andrea Williams and licensed to Proclaim Media Group, LLC. Translator station W241CZ96.1, also licensed to DeLand, Florida, repeats WY WYND's programming. 1340 has two stations. The first is WROD Daytona Beach. FM 1047, AM, AM 1340, WROD, The Rock of Daytona. This is a classic rock station which signed on the air in 1947. They have a Class C with license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting full-time at 1,000 watts with a non-directional antenna. Studios are located at 242 South Beach Street in Daytona Beach. Transmitter is also located in Daytona Beach. This station is owned by Miracle Media LLC, and repeats on translator W284AV Deltona on 104.7. The other station on 1340 is WWFL Claremont, La Mejor, 30 Quaneta IMA, Aquí No Mas. This is a regional Mexican station with programming from Mexico's MVS radio. First air date of this station is unknown. They have a Class C license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at 1,000 watts unlimited. They're owned by Onda Mexicana Radio Group Incorporated. Programming repeats on translator station W241CR 96.1 Claremont. 1380 is WELE -E, Ormond Beach. They're known as Goliath Radio. This is a community news talk station. Programming from Westwood One. News updates from CNN. And sports programming from ESPN Radio. Notable programs on WELE, although this may be outdated. That includes Don Imus. Paul. Carpentria, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I'm sorry, can't even read my own handwriting. Dr. Joy Brown, Paulina Sista, and Clark Howard. WELE signed on the air on August 1st, 1957 as WQXQ. They stuck with that call sign until 1969 and then they became WDAT before changing to WELE in 1986. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting with an effective radiated power of 5,000 watts daytime directional and 2,500 watts nighttime directional. Stations owned by Bethune Cookman University, which is a course in a historically black college and university in nearby Daytona Beach. 
1410 is WQBQ, Leesburg. WQBQ 1410, The Cube. They play adult contemporary and easily listening music programming from the IRN USA network, whatever that is. All right, this station signed on the air as WBZL in 1962, or make that WBIL in 1962, and also went under three other call signs before becoming WQBQ. In fact, this is the third stint for, for 1410 with the WQBQ call sign. They initially had it for about 23 years, from 1986 to 2009, and they recently had it for a brief period in 2015. WQBQ has a Class D license with the FCC, broadcasting daytime 5,000 watts, nighttime 90 watts. They are owned by Rama Communications Incorporated. 1440 WPRD Winter Haven, La Vaz de Orlando, translated in English as The Voice of Orlando. This is a Spanish variety station which first signed on as WABR in 1954 and also is known by four other set of call letters. Station held WPRD as its call sign from 1987 to 1994. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting with an ERP of 5,000 watts during the day, 1,000 watts at night. Stations locally owned by j &V Communications Incorporated. And some of WPRD's programming is repeated on four Full power AM repeaters. And they are as follows. WOTS 1220 AM Kissimmee. WSDO 1400 AM Sanford. WTJV 1490 AM Deland. And WUNA 1480 AM Ocala. Speaking of 1480, that's WUNA, Ocoee, Florida. Radio, ha Radio Haiti. Radio Haiti Tropical. I'll get the full name. This is a full service Haitian Creole radio station. Which first signed on the air in October of 1961. They had they had used WYNZ as their call sign during their construction permit. Their actual call sign at sign-on was WXIV. They also used WVCF for a time as well. WUNA has a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting during daytime hours at 1,000 watts and during nighttime watt hours at 71 watts. This station is owned by... Jesus and Vergen Tarado and licensed to JNB Communications Incorporated. Fourteen fifty and I did go out of space, so I apologize for that. So let me backtrack to fourteen fifty, which is WMFJ Daytona Beach. This is a Christian talk and teaching station which signed on the air on April sixteenth, nineteen thirty five. Originally on 1420. As a result of the North American Regional Broadcasting Agreement, WMFJ moved from 1420 to the present 1450 in March of 1941. They have a Class C license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting at 1000 watts full time. This station is owned by the Cornerstone Broadcasting Corporation. 1510 is WWBC Coco, the Talk to Me radio network, obviously airing a talk format. This station signed on the air on July 11, 1964. They have a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting with an effective radiated power of 50,000 watts during daytime hours 
and 25,000 watts during critical hours. Again, this is a clause from the FCC that allows radio stations, primarily AM daytimers, to broadcast at a reduced power for two hours after local sunrise and two hours before local sunset. WWBC must sign off the air at sundown as required by the Federal Communications Commission. All right. This station is owned by Astro Enterprises Incorporated and operated by John Hasper. All right. This station does operate three FM translator stations. They operate W234BI on 94.7 and W260CC 99.9 both in Coco as well as W264AS, 100.7 FM, Melbourne. All three translators relay WWBC's programming 24 hours a day, even after WWBC is forced to sign off at local sunset by FCC rules. All right, short space next to them on 1520 is WNDO Apopka, Radio Novoel Luminaire. This is a Haitian, Cretan, a Haitian Creole talk station, which signed on as WTLN in 1964, and they held that call sign until 1998. Then they became WHIM. Then in 2010, they became WBZW, and they had just recently changed to WNDO in 2020. This station has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting with an effective radiated power of 5,000 watts during the day and 350 watts at night. Transmitters located in Apopka. Stations owned by Sam Rogantinsky and licensed to Orlando Radio Marketing Incorporated. 1550 is WNZF, Banal, Florida. This station airs primarily to Flagler County. WNZF News Radio 1550 AM 94.9 FM. This is a news talk format with news updates from ABC News, programming from Premier Radio Networks, Westwood One, and Fox Sports Radio. Notable programs heard on WNZF include Clark Howard, Sean Hannity, Mark Levin, Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie. And this is also the Flagler County affiliate of Jacksonville Jaguars football. WNZF signed on the air on August 18, 2008, so they really haven't been on the air all that long. They held the WAYI call sign from September 12, 2005 through August 7, 2007. But WAYI was never used on air. The station did sign on as WNZF in 2008. They have a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, which broadcasts at an effective radiated power of 5,500 watts during the day and only 57 watts at night. Studios are located in Bunnell, Florida. Transmitter is located on North By Street, also in Bunnell. WNZF is owned by Flagler County Broadcasting, LLC. And programming is simulcast on sister station WBHQ 92.7 HD2 Beverly Beach. And repeats on translator station W235CW 94.9 FM in Bunnell. Short space next to them on 1560 is WLZR Melbourne, Sports Radio 1560, The Fan. This is a sports talker and officially labeled as the CBS Sports Radio affiliate for the Space Coast. That's Melbourne, Coco, Titusville, those areas. This station signed on the air on March 8, 1968 as WTAI and also went by two of or rather three other call signs. 
They have a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting with a daytime power of 5,000 watts. And this station, also by FCC law, must sign off the air at sundown. WLZR is owned by Cumulus Media and licensed to Cumulus Licensing, LLC. 1580 is WNTF, Biflo, Florida. Vietnam. Vietnamese Broadcasting Central Florida. So this is Orlando's only Vietnamese radio station. They signed on the air in 1958 and went by six different call signs before becoming WNTF. They did, however, have the WNTF call sign originally from 1997 until 2017. WNTF has a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at 10,000 watts daytime only. So this station is also required by FCC law to sign off at sundown. This station is owned by Shandy Prasad and licensed to University Unity Broadcasting Incorporate or Unity Broadcasting LLC. I'm sorry, butchered that. Short space next to them on 1590 is WPUL South Daytona. 1590 WPUL News Progressive Talk Inspiration. This station has a mix of urban gospel music and progressive talk programs. News with news updates and some programming from CBS Radio. Notable programs on WPUL include Keeping It Real with the, Rev the Reverend Al Sharpton. Also, progressive talk show host Tom Hartman and Stephanie Miller. WPUL signed on the air in 1957 as WDAT. And he also went by WELE and WZIP. WPUL has a Class D license with the Federal Communications Commission broadcasting during daytime hours at 1,000 watts and during nighttime water hours at 32 watts. The station is owned by Glenn Cherry. Short space next to them on 1600 is WLAA, Winter Garden, La Nueva, Que Buena. This is a regional Mexican station which signed on the air Possibly around 1988. Again, their roots may have been sooner or later than that. They went by four different call signs and was initially used the WLAA call sign from 2008 to 2017. So this station's roots, according to this, may have traced back to the late 80s, as I wrote down possibly 1988 for their first air date. Good job. This station did take the WNTF call sign for a brief period in 2017 and 2018 before that call sign returned to 1580. Okay. Uh, WFCC or, not WFCC, <laughs> sorry about that. WLAA has a Class D license with the FCC. That's what I meant to say. They broadcast at 2200 watts effective radiated power daytime and 35 watts effective radiated power at nighttime. Stations owned by Shandy Prasad and licensed to, Univer to Unity Broadcasting LLC. I don't know why it's so hard to say Unity, but I don't know. Final station on AM is 1680 WOKB Winter Garden. WOKB 1680 AM, your urban empowerment station. They broadcast a religious format. First air dates unknown. The station has a Class B license with the Federal Communications Commission, broadcasting at 10,000 watts ERP daytime. 1,000 watts ERP nighttime. This station is also owned by Shanti Prasad and licensed to Unity Broadcasting LLC. All right, so that is the look at that is a look at the AM radio stations across the 
Central Florida area including Orlando, Daytona Beach, and Melbourne. I'm going to go ahead, rest my voice for a little bit, upload this to both YouTube and Facebook. And in a few hours, we'll continue this list with the FM radio stations from across Central Florida. So, I will be back in just a bit. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell twice if you, if you want to see me post whenever you see me post new videos. I know what I'm trying to say. And that's to my Facebook viewers. But anyway, or that's to my YouTube that's to my YouTube audience. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell twice, get notified every time I drop a vid. Anyway, Big Al signing off. I'm about to go upload this to YouTube and to Facebook. And I will be back in a few hours with the FM radio stations across Orlando and Central Florida. Until then, peace out.